Hi everyone, I am Dr. Srivanila. Today's topic is iron deficiency anemia. Iron deficiency anemia is the commonest nutritional disorder prevalent in developing countries. Etiology Increased blood loss Uterine Excessive menstruation in reproductive years Repeated miscarriages At onset of menarche Postmenopausal uterine bleeding Gastrointestinal Peptic ulcer Hemorrhoids Hookworm infestation Cancer of stomach and large bowel Esophageal varices Hiatus hernia Chronic aspirin ingestion Ulcerative colitis Diabetic colosis Renal tract Hematuria Hemoglobinuria Nose Repeated epistaxis Lung Hemoptosis Increased requirements Spurs of growth in infancy, childhood and adolescence Prematurity Pregnancy and lactation Inadequate dietary intake Poor economic status Anorexia Elderly individuals due to poor dentition, apathy and financial constraints Decreased absorption Partial or total gastrectomy Achlorohydria Intestinal malabsorption such as in celiac disease Clinical features Common in women between 20 and 45 years of age Anemia Slow onset Weakness Fatigue Dyspnea on exertion Palpitations and pallor Angina and congestive cardiac failure in older patients Pica Epithelial tissue changes Coilonychia or spoon shaped Atrophic glossitis Angular stomatitis Plummer Vincent syndrome Laboratory diagnosis Peripheral blood smear Laboratory findings Red cell morphology it is normal red cell for normal and for iron deficiency it is macrocytic hypochromic red cell. Red cell indices. MCV, MCH, MCHC all will be normal for normal and for iron deficiency MCV will be decreased, MCH will be decreased, MCHC also decrease. Next marrow arthropoiesis. It is normoblastic for normal and megaloblastic for iron deficiency. Marrow iron stores. It is normal for normal and it is deficient for iron deficiency. Red blood cells. Red blood cells are hypochromic and microcytic. There is anisocytosis and poikilocytosis. Hypochromia due to poor filling of RBCs with hemoglobin appear as central pallor. In severe cases, there may be only a thin rim of pink staining at periphery. Target cells, elliptical forms and polychromatic cells are often present. RBC count is below normal. Reticulocytes. Reticulocytes are normal or increased in number. Leukocytes. Total and differential count is normal. Platelets. Platelets are usually normal but increased in patient who had recent bleeding. Bone marrow picture. Marrow cellularity increased due to erythroid hyperplasia. Myeloid erythroid ratio decreased. Erythropoiesis normoblastic erythropoiesis with predominance of small polychromatic normoblasts with a thin rim of cytoplasm around the nucleus and a ragged and irregular cell border. Cytoplasmic maturation lags behind, thus, the late normoblasts have pycnotic nucleus but persisting polychromatic cytoplasm. Other cells, myeloid, lymphoid and megakaryocytic cells are normal in number and morphology. Marrow iron, deficient reticuloendothelial iron stores, absence of sideroblastic iron granules from developing normoblasts. Biochemical findings, total serum iron, total serum iron level is low and is often under 50 mg per dl that is normal is 80 to 180 mg per dl. Total iron binding capacity. Total iron binding capacity is high. Normal is 250 to 450 mg per dl and it rises to give less than 10% saturation. Normal is 33%. Serum ferritin. Low serum ferritin. Normal is 150 to 2000 nanogram per dl. Indicates poor tissue iron stores. 
red cell protoporphyrin red cell protoporphyrin is very low normally is 20 to 40 mg per dl due to its accumulation within red blood cells as a result of insufficient supply to form heme thank you everyone hope you all like the video please like share and subscribe